And I'm Janessa. Let's take a look at your release calendar for April and May. Let's start with April and Persona 5 Royal. Now, technically Persona 5 Royal released in March on Tuesday the 31st, but that's basically April, right? Especially considering it released the same week as Resident Evil 3, which dropped on Friday the 3rd. A week later, on Friday the 10th, after 20 years of rumors and speculation, Final Fantasy VII Remake finally released. This is actually the first full game in what will be a series of Final Fantasy VII remakes. Then on Friday the 24th, we'll travel back in time to 1987 for some asymmetrical multiplayer fun in Predator Hunting Grounds. That same day, we'll also get the updated 3D remake of the beloved classic RPG Trials of Mana, which turns 25 this year. To finish out the month, on Tuesday the 28th, we'll get a trio of new games. SnowRunner, Sakura Wars, and the adorably hectic Moving Out, followed by the remastered campaign for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on Thursday the 30th. Let me just reiterate, multiplayer is not included. This is the Modern Warfare 2 remastered campaign only. These are just a few of the games releasing in April. Head over to GameStop.com or check out your console's marketplace for more info on any of the games we just mentioned. All right, let's take a look ahead at the games releasing in May. But first, let's just acknowledge that May was supposed to look very different. It was, but given the current situation, I think devs and publishers are trying to do the right thing for their teams here. Not only for their teams, but for their fans and for the games themselves, and you've got to respect that. Absolutely. I'm happy to wait a little longer to play games like Iron Man VR, Those Who Remain, Wasteland 3, and The Last of Us Part 2, especially since there are still a ton of great games releasing in May to keep keep us entertained. Exactly. Now, the first half of the month is pretty quiet, but don't worry, the back half of the month more than makes up for it. It sure does, starting with the release of Platinum Games, The Wonderful 101 Remastered on Tuesday the 19th. Then later that week, you can devour everything in the sea and exact your revenge on a sinister shark hunter when you become the shark in Maneater, which releases on Friday the 22nd. The following week is kind of insane, with new games scheduled to release almost every day. We've got Minecraft Dungeons on Tuesday the 26th, a new free-to-play multiplayer action game for Switch called Ninjala on Wednesday the 27th, and the latest entry in the fan-favorite platforming series, Shantae and the Seven Sirens on Thursday the 28th. Then on Friday the 29th, we'll end the month with not one, but four new games for the Switch, including the highly anticipated Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and a trio of massively popular 2K games franchises making their Switch debut, Bioshock The Collection, Borderlands Legendary Collection, and XCOM 2 Collection. Yeah, I'd say there's still plenty of games to play in May. To learn more about any of the games we just mentioned, check your console's marketplace or go to GameStop.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. You can find me on social media at Meg underscore Kaylee. And you can find me at Pods of War. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.